What's up guys, today we're going to be using our iPhone as a monitor for the Raspberry Pi. In order for this to work, you're going to need to have a couple of things selected when you flash the Raspberry Pi with the Raspberry Pi OS. Now, if you don't know how to do this, check out this video right here. But a quick rundown is when you're flashing your OS to the SD card, you want to click Edit Settings, and at the top here, you want to make sure whether it's checked or unchecked, it says Raspberry Pi. And then down here, you want to make sure it has the name and password for your Wi-Fi network, the one that your phone is going to be on. Now, in order for this to work, we're going to need to download two apps. The first one, which is called Termius, is going to help us get things set up. And the second one, which is called Real VNC Viewer, will actually show the Raspberry Pi screen on our iPhone screen. So we'll start by opening up Termius. And inside of Termius, what you want to do is click the button that says New Host. And then for the host name, you can type Raspberry Pi, which is the default host name that we set up when we were flashing the OS to our SD card. Then we can click Save and then click on the new Raspberry Pi item and enter the username and password, which we also set up when we were flashing the OS to our Raspberry Pi. And once we're connected, we'll be greeted with this interface, which is the command line interface on that Raspberry Pi. So what we can do here is install some software that will then allow us to connect our phone to the Raspberry Pi as a screen. So we're going to type sudo space apt-get space install space tight VNC server, all one word. And then hit return, and it'll install a piece of software called Tight VNC Server, which will connect to our phone's app called Real VNC Viewer, allowing us to view what would be the Raspberry Pi screen. And here it may ask us to confirm, and we can simply type Y to confirm the installation. Now that we have it installed, we're going to want to set it up. So we'll simply type Tight VNC Server, all one word, hit return, and it'll start the setup. Now the first thing we need to do is add a password, which for some reason the maximum is eight characters. So an eight character password. And if it asks us for a view only password, we can simply type n for no because we don't need that and then it'll tell us new desktop is raspberry pi colon one now if you have multiple devices in this system then it may be colon two or colon three or something like that but since this is our first it'll be raspberry pi colon one and now that we have that we're done with termius we can go out of that and into real vnc viewer inside of real vnc viewer we can type the plus in the top right and for the address we'll put raspberry pi colon one and for the name we can put whatever i'll just name mine raspberry pi then we can click save and then click connect to connect to our Raspberry Pi. And then it'll give you this notification that the data going between your phone and your Raspberry Pi is unencrypted. So if there were an eavesdropper on your local network, they could potentially find out the information that you're sending back and forth, which won't be an issue for our use case. Then it'll ask us for the password, which we can go ahead and put in. And just like that, we have our Raspberry Pi screen displayed on our iPhone. And we can use the mouse setup on the iPhone, dragging it around and clicking it, or we can connect a regular mouse and use that as well. If you're interested in installing a different operating system to your Raspberry Pi, I recommend Kali Linux, which is a Linux distribution all about cybersecurity and hacking that you can learn how to install in this video right here. 